Good day everyone. I am Elsar Tare from 1142. Today I will be discussing the operation on functions. Functions with overlapping domains can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided. If fx and gx are two functions, then for all x in the domain of both functions, the sum, difference, product, and quotient are defined as follows. We will first tackle addition and subtraction and their examples. Example number one in addition. Let's say we have a function of a of x is equal to 2x minus 4 and b of x is equal to 3x plus 6. Then find the letter a, a plus b of x, and letter b, a minus b of x. Let's find first the letter a. a plus b of x is equal to a of x plus b of x. Both are just the same. Since we have a given of a of x and b of x, we are going to substitute. We have a of x that is 2x minus 4 plus b of x that is 3x plus 6. Then after the substitution, we need to combine like terms. So 2x combined to positive 3x, so 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x. Next, negative 4 plus 6 is equal to positive 2. Our final answer is 5x plus 2. This is now the value of a plus b of x. Now example number 1 in subtraction. a minus b of x is just equal to a of x minus b of x. Then substitute. The a of x is 2x minus 4 minus the b of x 3x plus 6. Now, why did we put parentheses on 3x plus 6? Because if you don't put a parenthesis, the sign will be different later in 3x plus 6. So we have 2x minus 4 negative times positive 3x, that's negative 3x. Negative times positive 6 is negative 6. Combine like terms. 2x minus 3x is equal to negative x. Negative 4 minus negative 6 that is negative 10. Our final answer is negative x, negative 10. This is now the value of a minus b of x. Now for example number 2 in addition. c of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2. And b of x is equal to 8x minus 12. Find letter a. c plus d of x and letter b c minus d of x let's first find letter a c plus d of x is equal to c of x plus d of x we are going to substitute c of x is 3x squared plus 2 plus d of x is 8x minus 12 so copy 3x squared plus 2 then positive times positive 8x is positive 8x and positive times negative 12 is negative 12. Simplify. Just copy 3x squared plus 8x because they don't have the same term. 2 minus 12 is negative 10. Our final answer is 3x squared plus 8x minus 10. This is now the value of c plus d of x. Now example number 2 in subtraction. The letter b, c minus d of x, is equal to c of x minus d of x. Then, we will substitute c of x. 3x squared plus 2 minus d of x, 8x minus 12. Copy 3x squared plus 2. Negative times positive. 8x is negative 8x and negative times negative 12 is positive 12. We will now combine like terms. Copy 3x squared minus 8x. 2 plus 12 is positive 14. 
Our final answer is 3x squared minus 8x plus 14. This is now the value of c minus d of x. So aside from addition and subtraction, we have multiplication. So our first example would be a times b of x is also equal to a of x times b of x. Our given is a of x is equal to 4x squared plus 5x plus 2 and b of x is equal to 3x minus 4. Let's first find a times b of x. a times b of x is also equal to a of x times b of x. Let's substitute. a of x is 4x squared plus 5x plus 2 times b of x is 3x minus 4. So we will multiply now trinomial and binomial. So we need to use the FOIL method. 4x squared times 3x is 12x cubed. And 4x squared times negative 4 is negative 16x squared. Let's move to 5x. 5x times 3x is positive 15x squared. 5x times negative 4 is negative 20x. After 5x, we'll move on to 2. 2 times 3x is positive 6x and 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. After multiplying, we need to simplify. Combine like terms. There is no other cube, so just copy 12x cubed. Negative 16x squared plus 15x squared is negative x squared. Negative 20x plus 6x is negative 14x. And copy negative 8. So our final answer is 12x cubed minus x squared minus 14x minus 8. This is now the value of a times b of x. Another example is c of x is equal to 4x plus 2 times d of x is equal to negative 5x minus 4. Find c times d of x. c times d of x is also equal to c of x times d of x. So c of x is 4x plus 2 times d of x negative 5x minus 4. After substitution, we will now multiply. So 4x times negative 5x is negative 20x squared. 4x times negative 4 is negative 16x. 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. After multiplying combined like terms, Copy negative 20x squared. Negative 16x minus 10x is negative 26x. And just copy negative 8. So our final answer is negative 20x squared minus 26x minus 8. This is now the value of x times d of x. So we are now done in addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So let's move on to division. Given a of x is equal to 6x plus 12, b of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2, and c of x is equal to 6x plus 6. We are going to find first letter a. a of x over b of x and letter b, b of x over c of x. So let's start with letter a. a of x over b of x. So a of x is 6x plus 12 over b of x is x squared plus 3x plus 2. We have a numerator and a denominator. First, we will simplify. To simplify, since the number is a binomial, we can find the factors of our numerator and denominator. For the numerator, let's use the greatest common factor. So the GCF of our numerator is 6. 
So 6x divided by 6, that is x. 12 divided by 6 is positive 2. So our numerator is 6x plus 2. Let's check. 6 times x, that is 6x, plus 6 times 2, that is 12. Let's move on to the denominator. x squared plus 3x plus 2 is a trinomial. Factors are x and x, then factors of 2, then the sum must be 3. So positive 2 and positive 1. 2 times 1, that's 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Now let us simplify. We can cancel x plus 2 and our denominator x plus 2. So our final answer is 6 over x plus 1. Next is b of x over c of x. Substitute. b of x is equal to x squared plus 3 of x plus 2. Over c of x is equal to 6x plus 6. Let us factor out the numerator and denominator. So for the numerator, we have x plus 2 and x plus 1 over common factor, which is 6. Then we have x plus 1. 6 times x, that is 6x, and 6 times 1, that is 6. Now cancel x plus 1 in the numerator and x plus 1 in the denominator. So we now have x plus 2 over 6. That is our final answer. And lastly, the product of a constant and a function. Given a is equal to x plus 5, for example, 5a, 5 times a of x is equal to 5x plus 5. You have to multiply. 5 times x is equal to 5x and 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So our final answer is 5x plus 25. That's all about operation and function. Thank you and God bless.